Hua Xu is a Taiwanese-American writer who's exactly 10 years younger than I am. His parents came to the United States for a graduate study and met at the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana. And he grew up in the same small town where our children grew up. And he went to the same college where I went, went to the same graduate school that I went, attended to. In so many ways, I, I love hearing his story of his life because he's in such familiar places, having experiences that remind me a lot of my own life. He, one of the things that he's most concerned about as a, as a teenager when he's growing up is authenticity. He doesn't want to just follow the crowd or be part of the, the herd. He really wants to stand out and he really um, values very highly a, a refined taste that, isn't, that's, that makes him different from the other people around him. He might be a little bit more cynical than, than other people, a little bit more cautious about showing who he really is. When he went to Berkeley, he met a, a friend, his name was Ken, who was a Japanese American from El Cajon in Southern California, San Diego. And uh, his friend Ken was just so at ease and so full of joy and so relaxed and so comfortable with himself. And when Hua first met him, he's like, that's just the kind of person I hate. I don't wanna be around people who are like that. And yet circumstances kept bringing them together until Hua began to have a real appreciation for the unguardedness that um, Ken um, exhibited in living his life. And so in college, Hua got involved in so many things. He was an activist as, as the university was beginning to dismantle affirmative action. He, pro, he was in protests. He studied in the rhetoric department, the English department, the political science department. He volunteered as a, as a mentor to, to young Asian American students in Richmond. He also um, taught classes at San Quentin Prison. And all the while, he is becoming clear about who he was and what he stood for and becoming closer to his friend Ken. During the summer before their senior year, there was a terrible tragedy. Ken was basically carjacked, kidnapped, and murdered. And for the rest of his life, since then, Hua has been struggling with what that relationship has meant and, and what, um, what gifts uh, Ken has, has given him in terms of how he sees the world. One of the things that Ken and Hua never talked about during their, their life was that um, Ken grew up in a church and that church, I'm certain, influenced his outlook on the world. It changed the way he interacted with people. I do feel very fortunate for the church, which introduces me to all sorts of different people all the time. We don't choose the people that God sends to church who we meet, and yet they change our lives. Here I am uh, thinking so much about Hua Xu and his memoir, um, Stay True, and I hope that in whatever way that you are doing, you're staying true to yourself, true to God, true to the people around you. I'm here in Boston at the Cathedral of St. Paul uh, and delighted to be a, 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 visiting, a visitor here. Um, my name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching. More good news.